This conference will now be recorded. Hi, hello all. Welcome to the next session on enhancements. In the last few classes, we have discussed about what exactly the enhancement. And uh, so there are different kind of enhancements. Suppose SAP, you know, right, it's an existing pro product or package. So if you want to add some functionality to the existing applications or standard programs and standard applications, so directly we should not do the changes. So if you do directly the changes, we call it some modifications. And when you use the SAP concept to enhance it, we call it some enhancements. Okay. So with the enhancement, without impacting the standard functionality, we are going to change or we are going to alter the existing applications and modifications directly we are going to change the existing applications but so don't prefer to directly modify the existing applications why because so when you do any modification to the directly to the existing application it comes under a repair so when you do the repairs so nobody will give them a warranty right even same way sap also doesn't support when you do any direct modification so for that SAP has given some of the options. So we have an, a user exit. We have an, a customer exits. In the customer exits. We have the function exit screen exits menu exits and CI includes to change the tables or structures, standard tables or standard structures. And also we have an, a business add-ins and uh, baddies are implemented based on object oriented approach. And we have the enhancement framework. Even the enhancement framework also implemented by using object orientation and BTE it's in a business transaction event and FQ events in the S4 and now that also will see and also guys in domain level also you can do that in domain there is in a fixed values right you can maintain the fixed values suppose if you want to add your own fixed values yes we can add it by using fixed value append and so these are all the different kind of enhancements we have we have seen the user exit and user exits are available in the custom includes the last two includes are started with the jda so go to the program and go to the include programs last last two letters starts with the jda then we can say it's an a user defined includes case then customer exits if you want to find out the customer exits and so guys user exits you need to have an access key and also if there is an upgrade sap doesn't support in the upgrades and the customer exit no need to have any access key and even if you upgrade the SAP from one version to the another version, you know, right? The versions, different versions we have. Suppose there is any version SAP ECC. Suppose the company want to migrate to the SAP S4 or not. So that time, when you do the customer exit, yes, the code will be copied to the S4 or not. But what are, what are the code you have written in the user exit? That will not be copied to the S4 or not, guys. That's an upgrade, upgrade of your project, upgradation of your files, guys. And there are different kind of customer exits. We have function exits, screen exits, menu exits, and CI includes. So function exit means you are going to write some code inside the function module by using function module. And screen exits. That means function exit mean means you will be having only a customer exit for the function module, not guys. So the customer exits are available via the function modules. The customer exits are available via the function module for every transaction code. And also we have screen exit. Suppose if you want to add some fields to the existing transactions, we are going to use a screen exits and menu exits. If you want to design some menu bar, the custom menu bar, we are going to use a menu exits. And to add some fields to the database tables or structures, we use the CI includes case. But how to find out the customer exits? And there are two transaction codes. One is the S mod and another one is the C mod. S mod is to find the existing enhancements and for that you need to find out in a package so how to find out the package go to the transaction code system status when you go to the system status you will get in a program so take the program and go to the program go to attributes you will get in a package and take the package and go to the s mod and go with press f4 on the enhancement and it will display in a pop-up in the pop-up go with information systems there you need to provide in a package and after the package it will give the existing enhancement and you need to choose the enhancement based on the description or based on the function model interfacing parameters. After that, after you choose the enhancement, you need to go to the C mod. In the C mod, you need to create a project. 
and guys for one enhancement you can have only one project that's an a disadvantage of the customer exit and if you want to create more implementations or more project we will go with the baddy and baddies are implemented by using the um, object oriented approach the baddy definitions are available in the se18 and the implementations we are going to do in the se19 but how do you find out the baddy and if you want to find out the baddy and go to the class cl exit and cl underscore exit underscore handler and go to the method get underscore instance inside the method there is one more method the method uh, is uh, there is that the method is uh, get instance okay get class name by interface case so after this method there is a case size of rc there you need to put a the break point and run your transaction for every screen it will give an a baddies case so where whatever the screen you would like to add the fields before coming into that screen if you find any body that body is helpful to enhance the things case later section if you get something that is not useful and until that screen you need to do any debugging uh, after you find the body after you come that screen and next screen don't do the don't find the baddies case it's not at all a required case that's the name a baddie a uh, finding the class is cl underscore exit underscore handler guys so we have seen some of the enhancements and we have seen some of the baddies and maybe i will implement more baddies case we have seen pa30 how to enhance the pa30 by using baddie and we did an validation then later in the last class um, we did an baddie for the delivery and maybe we are in the uh, middle of that uh, baddie and go to the SAP ECC, SAP user, welcome on to three. So what we did guys in the last class, maybe uh, uh, VL01N and maybe I added some fields, I think. Yeah, uh, not VL01, yeah, to VL02N and take some delivery and execute. And you need to go to the header details. In header level, we have added some screen guys. So in the delivery header, I think I have added the transport uh, mode of transport. I think I have added go to the uh, yeah first one transport medium. This is the custom screen which we have added and the mode of transport guys. And guys, what is the our requirement? Suppose if I select mode of see guys, when you add the domain fixed values, it is coming automatically in a F4. See in the F4 you can see the values. Maybe my mode of transport is the road road is my mode of transport guys when i save it what should happen so the r should be saved in the likp table guys this field i have added in the likp this should be added in the likp for this delivery but whether it is storing in the uh, likp or not we'll see Parallelly, we'll open a session. Why it is taking this much time? Okay, this is saved. 
maybe we'll take the delivery number and uh, which table we need to go guys which table we need to go huh tell li kp so where you have added you have added in the li kp and you need to go to the li kp and uh, no don't do append i need to see the details deselect all vbln and control f mode of tra n so i need to see the values that's it guys so sc 16 and and see the values so whether that value is stored or not see mode of transport is not saved so to save the data guys so you know right module pool we have added a screen means it's in a module pool program so after you enter the value there is an event which will trigger is the pai so whenever you enter some values and is there any exit or is there any baddy after you do the input if there is any method in the baddy that we need to see it guys so in that bad in that method only we need to write the code so maybe go to the se um, 10 so i forgot the baddy which i have developed maybe i can go to the transport and go to the transport for the enhancement and see guys in the transport you can see the enhancements and maybe maybe you can see the baddy enhancement implementation and uh, it's not user exit baddy so i think baddy implementation you can see this is the hr baddy guys and we have implemented the delivery baddy this is the delivery baddy so click on this and go to the interface and change the interface guys always guys you need to deactivate the baddy if you want to do any changes so deactivate the baddy and here you can see i have activated the baddy by using this method activate tab page so we have passed the program name so this program we have created this is the screen number which we have created and when you come back there is a two methods guys so one is transfer data to the screen that means by default if you want to display something on the screen so you need to pass the values to this screen suppose transfer data from sub screen suppose if you want to take the values from the screen we are going to use this method guys after input the values and if you want to take that values we are going to use this screen and if you want to default the values it's like a pbo and if you want to write the pbo logic we are going to use the this method guys so maybe i need to first see the data and maybe you can see the data guys so here you can see delivery header so it's the y l i k p and also x l i k p do you see is there any x l i k p x l i k p y l i k p t r t i p hmm? so current delivery header that means guys so you can see the things current delivery header dynamic part of header function code and control flex delivery processing customer part okay so there are some controls guys so i need to handle uh, this logic guys maybe why means if you have any changed values we need to set the values in y l i k p guys so maybe i do not do what to do what i need to do just put on a breakpoint i don't write any code put on a breakpoint in this method come back and again activate the uh, baddy so maybe i go here and do the c and go to the header see guys the value is not coming up why because that is not at stored maybe i will select the road and when i click save see my debugger sorry so again do the things and go to the header and click on road and save it and it goes to my debugging guys go to the locals inside the method and see the values in first cs underscore likp and in this did you did you get that value uh, mode of transport see guys the value is not at uh, we didn't get the uh, value here but where we are going to get that value uh, that value where we are going to get that so maybe which which one we use it for the screen likp screen field which field we have used here LIKP. LIKP is not coming at all, and locals. What is the screen field which we have used? And maybe I go to that. 
uh, function group maybe we'll see guys go to the uh, seit and go to the we created some function group i think new function group yeah this is the new function group which we have created and uh, master program go to the object list and you see the screen screen double click and go to the layout i think we have added likp only it seems see guys likp m t r a n guys but the likp is not available guys that structure is not available see cs underscore likp in this the value is not coming up the value is m tran value is not coming up guys m tran value is not coming up so actually i can pass the data from likp to the cs underscore likp cs underscore likp but my likp is not exist here maybe it is exist in the global level guys it is exist in the global level okay so how can you get the global data into this body that is one option i can get the value of the data from globally from global program into this body that is one option the second option is maybe i will look out uh, this s x underscore l uh, y underscore likp there is an a value yeah so this is an internal table it's totally blank this is totally blank is so there is no value at all so the only way i can what i can do is so maybe i have to get the data from globally guys so how can you get the global data go to the standard and uh, see uh, in the standard is there any program vl02n sap mv 50a so how can i uh, how can i get that case so we did something like this see so this is my global program this is my global program what is my global program sap uh, mv uh, 50a so guys so it's very very important if you go to a big companies they will ask this kind of question small companies don't ask it's an you are going to get the data from the stack guys how can you read that data from stack this i can say it's an abap stack stack is nothing but how the program is executed so first we entered the transaction code for every transaction code there is in a program this program starts with the uh, screen execution in the screen there are different things so these are all executed now we are in the method this method guys the body execution that we are in the body method but in the body method this is my local in the local i am not able to get the likp value but the likp is the structure which is there in the which is there in this program i need to get the values from this program from the global program by using stack so you need to use this guys so put the program in the bracket and likp see guys i can get the values and double click this and you can see definitely there is an m tran and the uh, m tran is not available guys so i entered the value but the m tran is not available m tran is not available what i need to do likp hmm? in the last class why did, what we did we did in a declaration somewhere guys huh we did some declaration so maybe in the global level huh? uh, top declaration and put on a declaration and uh, data okay likp which is in a type of likp okay put them in the global i put the value in the global guys and this is the function model uh, where is the function model so okay this is the screen 
and whenever you enter the value on the screen and it should come over here guys how can i get that value again uh, come back and vl 0 to n enter okay go to the header and put an r save and breakpoint and see the uh, like kp and you can see did you enter the value no locals how to get that value guys lips what is this d no so how to get that likep Uh, we are not getting that value guys maybe so what i will do first maybe manually i change the value and maybe i put the value here first whether it will work or not we'll see guys so i manually in the debugging i put in a value r on the mode of transport and execute and execute see the values in the table level and display see guys the value is updated but whatever the value which i have entered that i need to get guys how do i get it so even the global stack also the value is not coming up the global stack also the value is not coming up so we did something on the before guys come back we did in the function module level i think you put an a we declared because that day we did something right hmm? what is the program i think yeah i think we had declared some ess or somewhere function group we did some changes on the um, i think top huh? yeah top we declared ESSR type ESSR. I declared LIKP, correct? In the LIKP, then hmm. how to set the values? display i did an logic but see guys maybe uh, we'll go to the baddy uh, transport for enhancement we'll see the documentation guys how to get the changed values and uh, uh, <coughs> transport for enhancements in this we have in a Mm, baddy implementation second one we'll go to the interface and definition documentation so you see mm, yeah process after input but what exactly the implementation how to stir the data
do that. See guys, H create mode, V change mode, A display mode, uh, T code. How to get the data which is which is there Go to the function group and in this function group a master program know this guys what we did i think last time we did set parameter ready get parameter ready huh? i think we did set parameter ready and get parameter ready did you remember Field symbols, but the value is not there, guys. The value is not there. So, can we set the value if that is the case? So, we'll set the value, guys. Otherwise, okay, do the syntax check. I am going to set the value to the global value. See, user command 880, right. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is, so first declare data, uh, LFS field symbol, LIKP, okay, which is in a type of LIKP, okay, concatenate. So how do you do the concatenation, concatenate? SAP MV45. What is the uh, what is the program? SAP MV50. Eh? SAP MV50. Eh? Uh, SAP MV50. Eh? And LIKP. So this is my structure, guys. Okay, concatenate this. Directly you can do like this. Instead of concatenate, what did assign uh, this to the this control C control V now LFS underscore LIKP of okay, then M transport M tran and which is equal to the my value LIKP hyphen LIKP hyphen M T R A N. So I am setting the global value, guys. See, ready printer. I am reading the global. This is my global parameter. So definitely you need to declare in a field symbol, guys. So if you want to access the global parameters, see. 
okay what you need to do field symbols guys field symbols ready printer so lfs under uh, here right correct i need to open one more bracket perfect so whenever you assign it so always the value should be inside the bracket guys ready printer do the syntax check and activate so in the pai i am going to assign the value and that value i am going to pass to the this is global parameter now i can access the value from the same code guys i will write in the execute in the baddy also i am going to implement the same code so go to the baddy sc 10 i forgot the baddy no problem and go to the transport for the announcement and go here and baddy implementation in this baddy now i set the value over there i need to read the value i need to read the value guys so read the value same way control v so i set the value in the global and read the value from the global guys so here reverse so now i have the value i am reading the value from this structure and i save that value in this structure and now i am going to do the cs underscore what is the just if you set the value over here cs underscore li kp cs underscore li kp iphone m t m tran and which is equal to the this m tran i am reading the value and assign that value to over here guys pretty printer and do the syntax check and activate so now we put the break point uh, activate your, your bad is active mode and go to the again put the break point put in a break point and also here also put in a break point so activate this function group and put the breakpoint also here guys now we'll run the transaction now we'll run the transaction vl 0 to n and enter and go to the header and put an r enter see guys it goes to the debugger now i need to have a field symbol see the field symbol automatically it is assigned the values case see so now so i have any values over here so in a lfs local field symbols very very important is field symbols so we have an m tran r automatically comes guys so the r value comes into the here guys and now i go to the value set the value to the uh, likp m tran oh what happened in LIKP, it is a local LIKP, guys. So it should be the entered value is not coming up. The screen value should be come over here, right? At user command 0888. What are the value you have entered? That value should come up. Now we'll get in a blank case. So this value, entered value is not populating over here. F1 again. LIKP, MTRAN. LIKP, MTRAN. This is there in the function group. Function group, I activated that LIKP. Hmm? And it user command whenever you enter some value that value should come up over here that value should come over here screen value why it's not coming the screen value yeah if you enter something the screen value should come into the user so that's for the model pool program the value should come over here guys mm. 
okay we'll do one thing yes so my guess is the problem so i will declare it's of likp i will declare in a gs underscore likp guys save do the pretty printer do the syntax check okay so i do in a global declaration even here also i am going to use gs underscore likp whenever you do in a gs underscore likp and maybe i go to the screen in the screen field also i take the instead of the database i take my own structure okay delete it delete the mode of transport and go to the here and gs underscore likp and get it from the program because it's different it's not a globe it's not a table and take this from the here and enter take it so maybe you need to put in a text whenever you take it from the internal table or work area you have to write the uh, this mode of transport and write the text mode of the transport okay now you can see the mode of transport field and activate so i put an gs underscore likp go to the flow logic see in the inside the flow logic i have written the value and this value if you enter the screen field value that should be stored here and that value i am going to assign it to the m tram guys execute execute and now we'll do the activation and activate and now come back and again come back okay what is that vl 0 to n enter go to here and put uh, what is the airlines this time i put an airline come back see guys see now it is coming up guys so maybe the field symbol is creating a problem that i am going to set in the global level so in the global field symbol i am getting it that means so if you take this 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 structure Control C, Control V, Enter. Huh? LFS underscore. Okay. Yeah, bracket is missing. See the value and the value I set in the global level A. So whenever it comes to the body, in the body also assign this value to this. And you can see the value the lfs likp definitely you see in a this field guys yeah so i will take this value and i will pass it to the cs underscore likp when i pass it to here automatically sap take care guys it will store in the database level see go back and go back and see in the table level now it the value should be in a a guys yeah ara what happened Okay, execute again. R. Huh? So the relevant number is same, right? The delivery number is same. VL zero to N. Enter. Okay, go to the header and put an A. a. Okay, mode of transport. Save. So here the value is a that value is goes to the global control c and control v so maybe if you see this value automatically it will assign guys so you are going to assign that value once you assign this value and uh, f5 it comes here and f5 and go to the lfs underscore likp See, mtran equal to a so the tran value mtran value goes to the cs underscore likp and mtran value equal to a so when it is a f6 and cs underscore likp and the value which is is there a only right f8 f8 and f8 so f8 
delivery has been saved. So go here. Where is the SC? 16 and before I changed the debugging, it changed the value, right? And why this time it's not changing? So deselect all and select VBLN and select MTRAN and execute. Now guys, now the value comes as an A, yeah guys. So it is saved. The data is there in the database. But now I go to the VL03N guys. I will go to the display mode. When I go to the display mode, actually I should get an A, right? Go here and go to the display. See guys, it is just even it is in change mode. One thing that is wrong. And second thing is I need to get an A value over here guys. So if you want to see before coming into the screen, I need to pass the value over here guys. So if you want to do before the logic, if you want to implement and you need to go back You need to go to the baddy and change go to the interface uh, deactivate guys and go to the see guys transfer data to the sub screen you need to transfer the data to the sub screen guys go here and see there is an is underscore lip likp maybe you will get any data into the is underscore likp and uh, where to set the data then So I'm not sure I put an a breakpoint case. So debugging, I, I do not have any clue what to write. I put an a breakpoint again. Come back. Come back. Come back. So VL 3 N and enter. Go to the header and go to the uh, what happened here? Oh, sorry. I go to go to header. Where is transport? Transport to medium. Where is my tab? So did I put any condition? VL02 N. In VL03 it is not displaying. VL03N, I think. Uh, before I put VL03, uh, no. VL03N only. Where is my tab, guys? Okay, VL02 and, and go here and see the header. Okay, now it is deactivated. Perfect, guys. Sorry. Activate. See, guys, that's a deactivation. So your enhancement doesn't work when you deactivate the functional. Even we come to know them point that's not a problem and uh, so i am wondering why this is not working and go to the vl03n and enter and see the value and see guys now your body is working and f8 and there is no value at all over here guys so even in the display mode it should be in a display only guys so what i need to do then so if it is in a display mode what you need to do what you need to do guys so maybe in the screen pbo in the screen pbo where is my screen so if you want to get on a screen you need to go to the function group transport enhancement and go to the here go to the uh, function group and in the function group go to the master program and go to the object list and you have an a screen in the screen in the pbo guys i am going to write in a logic okay in the pbo before coming into the screen 
okay i will check the transaction code guys okay i will check the transaction code okay if psi iphone t code which is equal to display vl03 n vl03 n and if what you need to do guys loop at screen and loop and and if screen hyphen name which is equal to the gs guys we have given gs underscore likp hyphen mtr a n if the field equal to this and if and screen hyphen input if it is one edit mode if it is zero non-editable mode guys loop at screen and loop and modify screen modify screen pretty printer and do the syntax check psi iphone t code okay it's not underscore it's an iphone do the syntax check pretty printer activate okay do the activation again the activation again so these are all things you need to do guys whenever you get an enhancement definitely these things you need to handle okay that's why i'm uh, giving these examples so don't think that just added means you, you have to think about three transactions not the one create what is the behavior change what is the behavior and display what is the behavior guys what is the vl03 n and go to here so display and f8 and see guys you can t see in the display mode only uh, can you edit here no but i have in a value mode of transport that should be transferred to here if you want to transfer that so we need to uh, go to the transfer values to the screen so where is in a where there is in a uh, modify this is my break point so we'll see guys what exactly we need to do and again i back i come back Come back from the transaction and F8 and F8. Come back, come back. VL03 N and enter and go to here and comes. It comes here, guys, in the baddy. And in the inside the baddy, go to the locals. And first we'll see in LIKP is that value is coming up. See mode of transport is coming up, right? So if the value mode of transport is coming up, okay. So L I K P D D. Mm, what you need to do is so X L I P S is there. L I K P is there. The data is there in the L I K P. Maybe what I need to do is I need to set the value. I need to set the value. Hmm? I need to set the value to the global program. The global program is guys same concept. I will use guys field symbols also and for this actually there is in a program guys master program and this is my program guys. So in this program my GS underscore LIKP is my object. So I will take this and I will set in a value to the GS underscore LIKP guys by using stack. Okay, very very important. So same logic I write it. So I will declare one more field in this field symbols only here also field symbols. Okay, GS underscore li sorry li kp right and type of li kp. Okay, and assign. Assign open the bracket inside the bracket open uh, the single quote. What is the program name? Huh? Program name is one more bracket and open the program name. My program name is this is my program name. 
this is my program name and iphan uh, next my structure is gs underscore li kp and this value assigned to the value gs underscore li kp gs underscore li kp and change the value assign a value here this value i fun m tran see my m tran and which is equal to the is underscore li kp i fun m tran so i am getting in a value in the importing parameter is underscore li kp so that m tran value i am setting the global data this this is a program this is in a global data i am going to set the value over here guys so pretty printer do the syntax check and activate so put an a uh, here breakpoint and LIKP. Yeah. So come back and activate. And activate and activate. Now do the again debugging and restart and come back and restart and restart. Come back. So is the baddie is active. So go to the baddie again and change. Uh, so active again. Uh, this is an active mode only, guys. And again, VL03N and enter. Go to the header. And now you can see, guys. Okay. Not at assigned, guys. So very, very dangerous, guys. If this is not assigned, when you try to change the pass the values, see, when you try to pass the value, it gives me the dump, guys. Field symbols are very dangerous. Very dangerous. See, terminated. Shant dump is getting, guys. So don't do this kind of things. So instead of this logic here, instead of here, applying this logic i will apply this logic in pbo itself guys i will apply this logic in the pbo itself so don't do this logic here because why because it's the problem control x so because the function group is not yet executed so instead of this i write this logic in the pbo of this screen change if psi t code is this i will do this okay and if psi iphone t code which is equal to vl 0 to n if it is change or if psi iphone t code which is equal to the vl 0 3 n both the things if it is change or display if site t code why red t code yeah equal to. so i am going to do this logic is so no need to do this maybe i will get the value not here from the global i will get the data guys so simple get the data from the global what is the global sap mb 50 a get the data like ap store over here that's it and no need to do this also that get the data keep it here ready printer why i need to do simple uh, simplification this is the simplified code so you can do a lot of things with the uh, this tag guys very important if you know this code you can do a lot of stuff <laughs> very very important this is now i will go to the vl03n and display transaction go to the display mm. come back okay okay VL03N and enter 
and display so it's going t code is vl03 it goes here and field symbols gs underscore likp okay uh, why it's not assigned type likp field symbols gs underscore likp likp okay assign the value now yeah i'll get a name value so here you can see the value so m t r a n so come down m t r n a so if the value is a okay i need to assign this value to the normal gs underscore like screen field i need to set guys so i need to set a value to the screen field so i did some mistake small mistake so i need to assign the value i i have the value over here so what is the screen field how the screen is designed gs underscore likp and which is equal to the i can do like this or else i can do mtran and which is equal to the field symbol gs underscore likp and of m m t r a n m t r a n that's it and do the syntax activate again do the vl03 n guys so come back f8 f8 and come back and come back come back vl03 n and enter again and go to the display and see t code equal to vl control every control you need to do, do guys m tran v and this tran space pass the value a to here and you can display now you can see the value a guys so it's working so we can display the data and also the you cannot enter the vl03 you cannot enter it but if you go to the vl02 you can change it guys so come back and go to the vl02 n and change go to the header i don't bother about debugging and i will change to the a to r road save and f fight and f fight and come back uh, f fight and update debugging is triggered vl03 n and display and go to here and f fight and you can see the r is so everything pbo pai and with the function a uh, group global values and global stack and you can see the stack in the standard the debugger standard is the tab there you are going to see the stack guys if you want to handle the stack values we are going to use a field symbols case very powerful option very very powerful option guys that's it from the baddie we have seen two baddies case it's enough okay i think you are comfortable with the baddies then i am going to introduce tomorrow so what exactly the the bte and uh, no guys enhancement framework sorry we have in the next concept called we have seen the classic baddie and tomorrow we'll see the what is the new baddie or kernel baddie and enhancement framework with the implicit enhancement spot explicit enhancement spot and bte and fq events that also we are going to see guys uh, that's it for that today i need to go to the office okay um, uh, today tomorrow yeah maybe saturday sunday we'll do a lot of things these three days i need to go to the office case okay tomorrow day after tomorrow till friday i should be there in the office okay so we'll see maybe if i have some urgent work in the evening i will post if you have the class tomorrow or not for the enhancement okay these three days i will be a little busy on the things so you have to adjust if tomorrow the class is not there i will post in the whatsapp okay that's it thank you all bye bye